Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Um, so in this video, I would like to share with you um, some of the things that I believe that needs to be considered or talked about when you try to teach online. Uh, this morning, I gave a lecture uh, online, okay, but it's not. Um, within the country, it is uh, to abroad, in fact to Japan. And I experienced that uh, the internet connection from our part in Malaysia to be unstable, very unstable. But I do not know whether it is uh, you know, my own system here in uh, my own house, but I had difficulty trying to communicate, even uh, you know, the student was uh, putting up comments in the Zoom uh, group chat that, uh, you know, can you hear me, you know, I cannot hear you at all. So these are things that probably need to be um, improved um, as we try to implement uh, online learning, uh, technical issues that need uh, what do you call assistance or need some uh, guidance, need some SOPs, need some uh, what do you call investigation and checking. Okay, because it's very difficult when you try to communicate. And I would like to, uh, I, I always like to uh, ask questions during teaching because that's part of my. Uh, strategy in getting students to uh, give their opinion and answer questions, even though online. Okay, because in face to face, I also like to ask questions spontaneously. I will call up a person and address, uh, for example, uh, Ali Ahmad. Okay, what do you? What's your opinion about this concept? What is? Do you agree? You don't agree? Why you don't agree? So even online, I will also do that because I've heard of people who say that you know it is not effective. I think it is effective. It depends on the person to actually make the session interactive and ask questions. So I have difficulty, you know, when there is poor internet connection, there is video lagging, there is uh, audio lagging. So these are you know challenges. Um, well, maybe it's from my own system that actually have or even my Wi-Fi in the house. But uh, we can make online learning interesting. No issue about that. Uh, we can uh, pause, we can uh, stop sharing screen and we can uh, address and try to get our students to, um, to give their point of view. Okay. So that's the you know, thing that I have tried to, the skills that I try to uh, implement during teaching, on online teaching. And um, uh, I hope others, you know, even you have a list of uh, 20 students. I may be uh, lucky because uh, I have very few, few master students in my online uh, classes. But even if you use, uh, online learning platforms like uh, all these uh, video conferencing platforms on Zoom. You can view all the participants and you can actually use the uh, chat or you can always call up names and spontaneously get them to answer questions immediately as if it is like face-to-face -face teaching. So good luck to everyone and also uh, you know, good luck to me as well. I would love to hear your comments and also your opinions on uh, how to get the best out of online teaching. So thank you very much. This is my sharing today. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.